Hey folks, it's Kerry here and I've got something very exciting to show you today. This ukulele has two features I'd like to point out. First, the cutaway, but uh, secondly, the artwork. This art is called pyrography. It is a method of burning an image onto a surface. And the artwork on this instrument is a reproduction of a piece called The Echo of Luck by Fred Stonehouse. The pyrography work was done by a uh, artist named Dino Meridian, who lives and works in Honolulu. And he has been doing this kind of work for several decades, really uh, took this craft to a whole new level by developing his own tools to get a much finer detail on the work that he does. And Dino is going to be uh, offering to do this kind of work on my MOAs going forward. If you are interested in pyrography on your instrument, I will get you in touch with Dino and you and Dino would then work out the uh, details on the design and pricing of whatever art you want. He can do the front only, front, back and sides, back only, uh, whatever you're interested in. Now I do recommend if you have this kind of work done, you do it on a lighter toned wood, uh, a lighter colored wood. Uh, this instrument is all striped myrtle, a, a fairly plain striped myrtle. It looked kind of like this before uh, being, being built. I think it actually came from the same log. Um, you could use uh, something like a, uh, a um, maple back and side with a Port Orford cedar top, a straight grain Port Orford cedar. That would look nice, uh, but something light uh, so that the artwork really comes out nice. Um, and uh, the second thing you may have noticed is the cutaway. Uh, that is something new that uh, previously my MOE had offered a Venetian style cutaway and then when I took over the business I stopped doing a cutaway altogether because I wanted to uh, redesign it and this is the Florentine style cutaway. Uh, as you can see Dino's actually done art on the inside of the cutaway as well. And uh, so if you're interested in that, that's, uh, that's something that's going to be added as an option um, as well on the tenors and baritones. So this particular instrument is on its way to Victoria Vox. Victoria was the one who kind of uh, initiated this project by um, introducing me to Dino. Uh, Dino, uh, if you didn't see it already, he was featured in the most recent issue of Ukulele Magazine as well. So check that out if you have a chance. Um, but I'm very excited to get this instrument into Victoria's hands, and I'm sure she will play it much better than I can. But I will give you a quick sample regardless. <laughs> Thanks for listening and uh, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.